This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report Today, May 16, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Massive coronal mass ejection to hit Mars directly. First Earth, now Mars. Currenting class sunspot AR-3664 is now directly facing the red planet. NASA's Mars rover, Perseverance, saw it yesterday through the dusty air of Jezero Crater. On May 14th, Sunspot Group AR-3664 produced an X-8.6 class solar flare, which we think must have been much stronger as it was eclipsed by the solar limb. This was the strongest flare of the entire solar cycle and hurled a corresponding strong CME directly towards Mars. NASA models suggest it should hit Mars on May 17th potentially sparking global auroras. Quote, we're bracing for impact, says Nick Schneider of the University of Colorado's Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics. Schneider works with an ultraviolet camera on NASA's MAVEN spacecraft, which may be able to observe the display. The impact should hit sooner rather than later, as I'm fairly certain the CME impact on Earth today was part of this same CME that will directly hit Mars. Over to NASA's Isba Spiral. They are updating it, as I told you guys. And here is Mars in red. And here is the large X-class solar flare. And you can see a direct hit. Now, we'll say they have the timing much further down the road. This says the 20th, perhaps. You can see it just like I can. But, in fact, that CME is moving much faster than any NASA model predicted and will impact Mars later this evening into the 17th UTC time tomorrow. It's amazing that someone working with NASA actually knows it will hit tomorrow but the Iswa Goodard spiral has it hitting on the 20th. That would be the slowest large, strong CME from a large X flare in history. That would mean that it would take six days to reach Mars. Another ridiculous forecast from the group that we give $84 billion a year to. God bless you and yours. Please share. Please subscribe and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.